not important knowledge, too many questions, unnecessary questions. So let's just think about it. Do you have analysis paralysis going on that's preventing you from doing what you should be doing? Quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. In this whole passage, we learn something really important is that when we are asking useless questions, things that are not related to taking actions, or we are just asking unnecessary questions, or we are asking too many questions, or what is also known as analysis paralysis. So these things are the things that actually delay achieving our goals or make achieving our goals very hard. So we have different scenarios in this world that happens, right? Someone wanting to learn Arabic. Oh, what is the best program? What is the best app? So on and so forth. You just keep hopping from one, one app to the other, one program to the other, or not even starting anything just because you have analysis paralysis. Same thing with diet, with workout routines, and so on and so forth. And sometimes when it comes to worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we go into too many intricacies, which is important at times, but sometimes you don't have the intention to do it, and you're just asking questions for, for, no, for no purpose whatsoever, or being involved in online debates that do not concern you. It's about the topics that do not affect you. And, and commenting about topics that you do not have um, knowledge about. So all of these things are under the boundaries or under the category of use, un, useless knowledge, not important knowledge, too many questions, unnecessary questions. So let's just think about it. Do you have analysis paralysis going on that's preventing you from doing what you should be doing? The second thing that we learn in these verses is a very serious condition. And that is the condition when the hearts become hard. This is something really serious. To take a look at our heart, do we really respect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do, do we really respect the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In today's day and age, with a lot of content, a lot of mockery that happens, a lot of people make fun about things about their religion or do not obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or basically trivialize the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh salah is not important, praying in jama'ah is not important, that is more important becoming more conscious about social and vogue issues than worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on and so forth so many different things lead to this state of having a hard heart and if you have a hard heart it will become really hard to actually do something that is beneficial for you that will help you in your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so be mindful of causes that lead to be having a hard heart and do not forget the power of du'a. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us pure and righteous soft heart that appreciate and that have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and desire to, to earn the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upmost and, um, and, and, and above all the uh, love of other, other human beings and other things in this world. And thirdly, there's a reminder that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not unaware of what we do, what we say, what we think. So let's respect the boundaries of Allah. Let's be conscious about Allah in public as well as in private.